At any rate, I'd like you to use global warming just this once to prepare for the age of the dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, Navi. Navi, Navi, Nav. Casually global warming. I'm not sure how the, if that's really how global warming works. But welcome back, everyone, to Birthdays at the Beginning, where Navi is trying... Well, I, I'm fairly certain Navi is going to lead us astray. I think it's quite clear at this point we've been kidnapped by Navi. Scallywag Navi. But... Let's have a quick gander around this new world. Oh, look at this beautiful river that just kind of ends over here in a, in a random waterfall. Nevertheless, there are a couple of things on the map. The first thing we're going to do in this one is go and find them all. So, is it up high? Is it super up high? Let's uh, go and have a look. Are you up there? Yes, you are. Come hither. Hello. We have got the ice stone. So, that's going to be a more powerful version of the cold stone, I'm guessing. And there's one down in the corner over there, and then there's another one right over there. Okay, so what are you? Are you gonna just be a are you gonna be like um I don't know, the the magma stone or something? Since we went from chill stone to ice stone. Are we gonna go from warm stone to burning stone? Flame stone. Oh, okay. Well I guess that does make a lot more sense. And finally, one all the way down here. In this vast cavern with awesome music. I love it down here. I, w I wish I could live down here, honestly. Rain- rain- what? Rainbow coating? What the dickens? Also, it's gotten deeper! <gasps> oh, that is interesting. That is very interesting. It's quite deep. Or at least I think it's deeper. It feels deeper. Come here, you. Come on. There we go. What did we get? The mysterious glass jar. Okay, so I've got two mysterious glass jars now. How marvellous. Okay, well, here we are in our, our little world. Oh, uh, where am I? There we are. In our little world where our delicate little raptor is, is having a little bit of a hard time. So, honestly, the first thing we're going to do is not going to be using any of our funky new powers. It's actually going to be quite, quite boring. Uh, but necessary, you know, we're going to build up a little bit more habitat for our, our little raptor over here. Now, I'm not sure how far our raptor is really going to want to move from this warm stone that we've placed all the way over here. But we, it's clear enough that it, this is not a perfect habitat for him. So let's make this a little bit nicer, shall we? Um, let's add a little bit around here. Um, yeah, that'll do. Just shape it here and there so we've got a little bit of a, a raised area and i really should at some point go through the whole map and add maybe one or two levels of of, of height to all the land except where i've obviously got an ocean because it makes no sense to increase the uh the the height of my ocean it stops being an ocean becomes shallows which is not what i want um, sure, we'll uh, make a little bit of a flattened area up here. And just make it a little bit less less uh, uniform. And, um, sure, we'll pull that apart back. Then, yeah, we'll get a little bit of moisture there, I think. A little wee bit of moisture. Now and then, just to uh, even things out a little bit. Then we'll rough up this this little shape right there the other little edge along there okay th that's good enough hopefully this is going to expand out and you're going to have a nice little place to live raptor dude right okay so with that done it's time for us to do global warming is that something i need to do from out here because the temperature is all kinds of messed up all of a sudden let's see can i global warm <laughs> i can oh i'm not so sure about this what's what's rainbow coating though Protects an organism from the environment, but also renders them sterile. Won't work on extreme environmental changes. Oh. So I'd be able to make a creature that couldn't go extinct from environmental changes unless extreme, which I'm going to guess global warming counts as. Strong sunlight, intense sunlight. Where's global warming? Global I've got an awful lot of global warming and coolings. Oh my goodness. Uh, by 20 degrees? Yikes. Okay. Well... Time to uh, permanently raise the average temperature in the cube. It may appear when a lot of snow covers the cube. Ah, oh, okay. You permanently lose the average temperature. It may uh, appear when the average temperature is above 15 degrees C. Oh. Um, use. Ooh. That didn't look good. 
Global warming and cooling are useful when you want to change the temperature without changing the terrain. Oh, actually, yeah, that, that is going to be quite useful in the long run. Okay. All right, the stage is set. Time to bring out the star of the show, Tyrannosaurus. This life form is said to be the supreme dinosaur. By not that, actually that many people. I wouldn't consider it the supreme dinosaur. I know certain dinosaurs that hunt Tyrannosaurus. And I know other dinosaurs that, that don't hunt nearly as well. But are just better in, in like all ways. Like Littlefoot's mother. She's definitely better than a Tyrannosaurus Rex. You'll need the perfect temperature, the ideal location, and plentiful food sources. Refer to game info to prepare the environment. Oh, okay. Now, there's probably going to be an awful lot of building in this episode because we've got a massively expanded area. Now, on the whole, as we've discovered, larger areas are better. And the, as we expand out the map, um, I think it's important to go back and redress these sort of things. Like when we were just trying to get here, we had a tiny little area. But once, once the map expanded, we needed to flatten it out. You're still, I'm not sure, because your population is still super low. Yours is doing amazingly well. But then the thing to be aware of here is that prey population is going to be gigantic. Predator population is going to be much lower. You're going to have far fewer predators to prey. It's just, it's going to really help with the diversity. Okay, so what do we need for Tyrannosaurus? We need 46 degrees. Okay, it's only tending up to 32, so I need I need to increase the, the oceans quite a lot. Um, moisture, 4 to 70%, so they're quite tolerant with moisture. Minimum, 37,600 uh, velo uh, velociraptors, and a minimum, 28,200 plesiosaurus. Okay, uh, right, well, it looks like we need to consult with the library to find out what they are. Uh, let's go to the tree. Obviously, it's going to be all the way over here with all of the other dinos. Hello. Right, so you become, I'm going to guess, the Velociraptor. A dinosaur that became more larger and faster than Eoraptor, allowing it to hunt for prey with increased ferocity. That needs um, quite a high birth temperature actually mm, sort of still within the range of this one so it's not going to be terrible they're all kind of in the range though eel raptor is going to be pushing on towards extinction because its upper range of birth is the lower range of the tyrannosaur um well, there we go that'll be the plesiosaurus uh, a long necked dinosaur that appears as eel raptor and stegosaurus was propagating so i'm also going to need stegosaurus for you it preys on fish in very hot seas Okay, so I may also need to get new types of fish that live in extremely hot seas, because I think I've only got one that lives in fairly cold seas. Okay, I'm not seeing Stegosaurus anyway. Have we got Stegosaurus? Triceratops? Mm. Okay, so I'm right. Okay, so I'm going to need to go through quite a few, actually. Okay, so the game is opening up at this point. It's like, yeah, we're not going to hold your hands any anymore. The goal is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. You, you work out how to get there. I'm not going to explain it. Very wild game. I see where you're going with this, and I approve, I think, mostly. Okay, well, we're going to need oh, so much adjustment to the oceans for this one. Um, we've got a, a fairly deep sea there. I'd like to expand this out, like, a lot. This episode's going to be so much building, oh my goodness. Uh, but then we're also going to expand this water out quite a lot, like the shallows and, the, and just the regular sea. Like, we don't want it to all be deep sea. But I think I'll carve out the deep sea first, and then we'll we'll add a little bit of rounded, we'll kind of add a gradient as it comes back up to the land. And that'll give us our sea and shallows um, by virtue of the gradient. So, to building, maybe even uh, a time lapse.
Oh no! Eel Raptor died while I was recovering energy. Scallywag, but we've got a new cactus. Ah, as you've probably already seen from whatever I include of that time lapse, because it was a lot of work. I'm still only part of the way there, but we have managed to uh, change the, uh, the temperature quite a lot. It's tending towards 47 degrees now. But where's this cactus? Over here. It's over here where it is actually quite barren. That's a bit of a shame, really. And right, let's see what we got. Uh, we've got a cactus, a plant that grows in desert environments. It adapted to be resilient uh, against cold temperatures and dry climates. Fantastic. Also, so many things to pick up because of all the terraforming I've been do doing. What have I got? Field sources. Probably a lot of field sources. I have been leveling out so much terrain, I would be surprised if not all of these were field sources. Yeah. So many field sources. I wouldn't mind a recovery leaf though, I've used up all of my recovery items shaping this ocean. We're not even done yet. I mean, it's a, it's it's taking shape, certainly. I need to expand this little sort of central area a little bit more to uh, the same sort of depth down here. But look, look at all this room you've got now. I'm really, really hoping that you're enjoying it, because, uh, you know, there's <laughs> an awful lot of work has gone into it. There's 67,000 of you, so I can only assume you are. Okay, right, so 20 minutes worth of shaping the uh, ocean later, we are done. Oh my lord, this is the thing with any kind of building games, I get sucked into the small details and uh, it takes me forever to do anything, but thankfully that's what time lapses are there for. Now, hopefully our ocean friends will have a great time down there and this will give us a warm-ish ocean. I've also taken away the um, heat stone from around here. Be of the rather the warm zone because we just do not need extra heat right now. The the world is tending towards 49 degrees. In fact, in many places, we're gonna need to cool this down. Um, for example, I'm worried about your populations, really. Uh, will we be able to sustain them? Because you don't want super hot, uh, high heat. In fact, let's have a quick look. What do you want? You want a birth temperature 20 degrees. That's gonna be super hard to me to get to. You're going to want it a little bit colder, but our other dinos are going to want it warmer. Hmm. Well, you know what I could do here, then? I could make this place super chill by adding... Uh, uh, not the chill stone, but... Where is the chill stone currently? Have we even deployed the chill stone? Let me have a quick look. No, we haven't deployed the chill stone, but I'm going to deploy the ice stone. So, ice stone. There we go. This place is going to be much colder now. Oh, it's actually way too cold. Maybe I should wait until... Maybe I should wait until later. For now, yes. We're going to take this one away. We're going to pop down this one instead. There we go. We're swapping it. There you go. Temperature's kind of in the good range for you now. There we are. Don't say I don't ever give you anything. Uh, we're going to have to pass some time at this point. We've done quite a lot of work. 
hopefully, it's gonna get a pan into my greater plans for this world. Ultimately, I want to have a, a mountainous volcano island with a massive bay. And that big old sea there is gonna be the bay. A really, really sudden, deep bay. Right, time to pass. Jabira has already popped up. Okay, well, let's go and have a look at who you are. Um, who be you, Jabira? You be someone over there. Where are we? And what are you? Um, there we go. A pretty pink flower. An actual flower, too. Okay, a flower that blooms in cool, damp forests. It's propagated in abundance across the regions where cosmos could not spread. I don't think we have cosmos, but we do. Look at what we have. We have got a desert forming. Ha <laughs> ha! On the correct side of that mountain, no less. I approve. Uh, I'm going to need you as well. Please come over here. Thank you. Right, back to passing time. Dyphalia. Let's go and have a look at Dyphalia then. Probably another plant, judging by the name. Dyphalia be over here somewhere. Hello, Dyphalia. Getting lots of flora right now. Short grass that grows in hot climates, uplands. It often covers the blossom of conifers. Uh, bottoms of conifers, rather. Ooh, level up. Awesome! We need that power. Oh, I had to go through so many of my power restoring items earlier on. I also need to uh, pick everything up. Normal recovery leaves, I approve of you. Thank goodness. You can replace my, uh, my flagging stocks of recovery leaves. I've right, got a little, little desert over here where it's super dry. What's the temperatures around here? Um, 37 degrees, but it is getting warmer. It's getting warmer all the time. What's the temperature over here? 29. That's fine. You guys should still be doing okay. Let's actually have a look at your populations over here. Uh, let's move forward just a little bit so I can see the new life news. Oh! Actually, we got a couple of things. Fantastic! You raptor is back with a much healthier population this time. And Teridium. Let's have a go, go have a look at Teridium. What kind of plant are you, Teridium? Um, you are going to be right about here. You're a, are you all the way up there? Oh, you are. Wow. You're a very high altitude plant. Hello. Let's get in there close and have a have a look at you because I've been quite zoomed out for most of this. I had to zoom out to do the terraforming. It was just wow. Too hard to close up when I was in the water all the time. A differentiated form of uh, diphodon. They spread through warm highland regions. Okay, pretty cool. Where's my raptor, though? There's my raptor, down there. Just chilling out, enjoying himself. Ah, oh, wonderful. I'm very glad to see you down here. Right, let's head back out then and have a look if we can see our other populations. Our fish population is exploding now that we've given it more room to grow. It's up over a million. I have proof. But what I'd really like to know is a uh, reptile population. Oh no, a plant. A plant is already dead. That's four deaths now, if we don't include the times that Conifer just couldn't make up its mind whether it wanted to be dead or alive. Ooh, we've got another plant by the looks of it. Okay, we're getting quite a lot of uh, vegetation species showing up. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to switch the minimap though because I cannot see where the new species are. Hello, where are you? You are... Is that? Is he it? What? Where are you? Are you it? No. I passed you? No, I'm not going in the right direction, that's why. Ooh, a new fish! A pretty one, too. That likes swimming high up. Okay. Now, you're a five-star fish. Um, Colocanthus that migrated to warm waters in search of plentiful prey. Very well. We're really starting to flash things out. Now I've got a much larger area that I can terraform. I've got more diverse conditions for life to uh, spread out from. Now, we're starting to get into the 40s. I'm going to have to drop that at some point, but we're going to hold off on any more terraforming for a little while, please. Uh, right. Let's continue. I'm, I'm liking the, the spread of um, vegetation around the, the ocean. That's pretty cool. Uh-oh. Your raptor. Really? We've got those again? Really? Oh, you're a new species entirely. Where, where are you? And what are you? Ooh, let's have a look at you. What have we got? 
The Ichthyostega that migrated away from the shore to live in freshwater regions. It mainly feeds on organisms that live in the river. Oh. Okay, perhaps that's because of the river fish that we've got. But this, this really isn't a good enough area for you. You know what? You know what? I think what we need, we need a vast lake over here. I said no more terraforming, but this isn't really terraforming. This is just a slight adjustment to the landscape to uh, help out our um, predator friends over there. Let's go ahead and bring all of this up. We're going to make this a freshwater lake, so there's plenty of fish there for them to nom on, and it's going to be glorious. So, there we, in fact, we're going to make this all a freshwater lake. So, this should now... No, it is still... Hmm. Okay, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Don't panic. Avak will fix. Avak knows the secret magics of the world. He can hear the inner song of the earth. Don't worry. Uh, there we go. Right, now Avak can fix. Whomp. There we go. Now we've got uh, a nice little lake area. So sure, we'll pull that down too. And we'll just go all the way around. We're going to make this actually really, really pretty. Uh, I'll need a finer brush, though. There we go. And... Yeah, something like that. Oh, I, I'm sorry, little plant. I, I guess I didn't fix for you. I have kind of drowned you. But it's it's for a good cause. Well, uh, not for you, I suppose. You're like, but I was already happy. Why do they get preference? Especially when it involves me dying. You, you do have me banged to rights there, little plant. I'm sorry. I'm not going to change it, though. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry enough is basically what the condition is in this particular situation. But there we go. Nice, big, old freshwater lake where we'll have plenty of noms for you guys. Ah, oh, it's going to be grand, I tell you. Uh, you don't have much, much land mass, though. So how about we just pop this up just a wee bit so you've got a little bit more room to wander around, and it'll be lovely. Okay, good enough, I think, possibly. What did we just get? No, no, why? Why are so many things dying? No, no, poop. I don't like it when things die. But we do have a new thing. We've got a new type of fish. Hello. We've got uh, Coleocanthus that adapted, oh sorry, um, it's not Coleocanthus. The C-O-E is C. I, you can kind of see why, but I have been advised in the comments. At, at this point now, I've gotten a chance to read some of the early comments. Um, Coelacanthus, that adapted to fresh waters. It appears after spreading through rivers and congregating in wide lakes. And what are our populations like of you guys? Would, would you care to tell me? Um, yeah, actually, our population is really good. So is yours. Yours is really good. Good, 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 good. We've got plenty of prey species. Now, do we still have the raptor? Is the raptor still... No, I think the raptor died. No, the raptor's still there. Fantastic. How are you doing, little raptor? It's not good enough. But, thing is, you're preying on something that I think is preying on something else. So, your population is going to remain tiny by comparison. This is going to be a bit of a problem. But, oh well. We need to pass more time, I'm afraid. Oh no! Something something was born and then immediately died. That was unfortunate. That, that was very unfortunate. Your birthday and your funeral on the same day, in the same second. Ah, uh, I, I feel bad. Ooh. Stop, stop, stop. I want to go and have a look. Alright, what have we got? Uh, has anything been born and, and still alive? Yeah, something is. Where are you? You are some sort of uh, shell, like a clam, or an oyster rather. A brachiopod that lives with the uh, Colunia and Elrathia in very hot shallows. Wait, wait. <gasps> Raptors have gone all the way over here. This is amazing. I approve. What's your population though? Oh, your population is expanding well. I am very happy, little raptor. This is super duper good. Okay, finally then, we can start having a look a little bit more. Because I think uh, now that our raptors are starting to uh, propagate a bit more, 
we can start seriously considering other things. So, what's next on our list? You you want very hot. You, you actually want kind of similar. You're probably going to want very similar to Eoraptor. Um, a dinosaur that became larger and faster than Eoraptor, allowing it to hunt for prey with increased ferocity. You may actually need larger prey animals, though, or a much larger population of prey animals. Uh, adapted to living in dry plains. You're going to need more land, much super lower temperatures, and only a little bit of moisture. Hmm. These I'm concerned about. These temperatures, yeah, a lot of these do not want these kind of temperatures. We're going to have a little bit of a hard time. Oh, a little frog. Um, we're going to have to work on that. I'm really getting the, the feeling that if you want to 100% things, it is much better to 100% it in the episode where it's unlocked. Because the things in that episode all kind of have the same rough temperature requirements. But we've got a lot of land now, so I'm hopeful that we're going to be able to play around with with having lots of different biomes. Now you, uh, we might actually start seeing you around the place soon. We've got quite a lot of places with high moisture that you could live in. But I think we need a lot more of you probably to get anything else. Yeah. On the plus side, I think we may have enough um, water at the very least for the uh, Plesiosaurus to um, pop up. But I think it's probably high time for me to expand out this river and indeed the land around here as well. So that's what I'm going to get on with right now and I will bring you back when I'm done. And here we are. Lots of sculpting has gone on across the land. I've even done a little bit here with the lake. Uh, well, sorry, rather the river. It's not too interesting, or at least certainly the flattening was largely quite boring. Done a little bit of terrain modification over on that side, but not too much. And the river is is pretty much just, just what the river is. So we, we're excited to see a lot more of these little creatures around. I'm really happy about this, actually. Super duper happy, in fact. Do we still have you down here? We do. Oh, that's grand. Truly grand. Oh, no. Are you are you, are you the same species? Yes, you are. And you're, you're swimming up the river. Oh, that's pretty cool. I wasn't sure about that. Now, I've upgraded this stone to an ice stone because these guys need much lower temperatures than our global temperature at this point. We have lost so many species, though. So many funerals. I didn't include them because I know it would make you all too sad. You're, you're gentle souls, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to see all of our beloved creatures and plants going extinct because it's gotten so hot. But hot it needs to get if we're going to get dinosaurs. So, now that I've done all of these grand changes, let's uh, pass a little bit of time. I'll restore my energy first, and then we're going to start speeding things up. Yeah, see? So many species are going going out. Um, yeah, not so great. We're probably going to see a couple more funerals, alas, and that beeping is going to be constant for a little while. Uh, let's see. Let's just let uh, greenery spread across the land. Ooh, red fern. Red fern, is that a new one? Was that an old one? I think it may be new. Uh, where are you, Red Fern? Are you? There we are. Hello. We have the fanfare, but... Uh, oh, we had an autumn fern before. That's right. A fern that grows on cool savanna plains. It appeared where my Rheopteris proliferate very well. Now, we need our raptor population. Uh, do we have a raptor population? Yes, we do. Our little raptor has migrated. It's happy over here. It's like, yeah, this is cool. This is cool. It's pretty pretty warm. Pretty moist. I, I like warm and moist places. I'm a raptor. Wow. I imagine it saying. Um, all right. Well, it's actually fairly warm over here. In fact, this whole area should be reasonable for it. What's its population at at the moment? Uh, eco, uh, Eoraptor is 6,000. <laughs> Damn it. Someone has said in the comments that they always read it as Eagle Raptor. Now I'm going towards read it as Eagle Raptor. Scalawag, you've infected my brain. But we're going to need a lot more time to pass. We need Eoraptor's population to expand. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we can kickstart it a little bit by using some of our items. Maybe over here, for example. Let's see what items we've got to use. We have got... Well, we've certainly got this that we can pop down. So, uh, vigorous vegetation. Sure, let's use that. Womp. Oh, that was a nice effect. I approve of it. I approve enormously of that effect. Uh, we could warm this location as well if we wanted to. But we don't need to. It's already more than warm enough. 
Uh, we could use significant more moisture. Sure, okay. Warm. Let's make the soil super, super wet so that all of the vegetation we've just told to grow can actually grow. What the dickens? Water of extinction? Fearsome water that will wipe out any organism when ten types of organisms die. It may appear in the cube. No! Why have I got such a terrible thing? Why? Why is this being given to me? I don't want this terrible power. I would ask what sins I've committed to deserve it, but I know what sins I've committed. Unfortunately, I've changed the climate too fast. Poop. We've got a new birthday. Pacio Northis. Uh, let's go and check out what you are then, shall we? I couldn't quite see. I can't see the um, the notification, the, the, the shape underneath the new tag. So I often don't see where it is. But it's an animal because it's not showing up there. Oh, another fish, perhaps. Possibly another fish. We've added so many lovely little bits of uh, water, uh, bodies of water around here. So I'm not too surprised by that. How are you guys doing down here? Is it cold enough for you? It's quite Oh, look at their population. It's exploding. I'm really hopeful that that is gonna gonna stand us in good stead to get the plesiosaur. What does it eat? I don't know, but I'm hoping it's gonna be something like that. Hello, new fish friend. Hello, no, not you. Ooh, what are you then? You are a new uh, oyster. Wow, I'm, I'm assuming this is gonna become something like an oyster. Uh, the North is that can live in fresh water. When rivers first began to form, it migrated to them. From the shallows. Oh, awesome. So uh, our large river population is helping us now. Or rather, large river amount is helping us. Don't really think rivers have a population as such. Okay, well, let's head back out. We've got to pass some more time. Uh, though, interestingly, I'm going to go and check what our library is like now. Let's actually have a look at the tree. and go all the way out. And we're not going to have any um, dinos, unfortunately. But we're actually really starting to fill up on the plant types. This I'm really happy with. Super happy that we're getting so many of these. Uh, let's see how many other creatures. Oh, we've got two of you there. Yeah, got plenty of little fish types. Oh, we've never seen. We've birthed it, but we've never captured it. It must have died way too fast for us to to capture. But we're actually not doing too bad down here. We're not doing too bad at all. In fact, now, thing is, is I can force revolu uh, evolution. I just don't want to. I don't want to use that 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 stone. Uh, I could use a mutation and see what we might get from you. Hmm. I might try that. We're going to need super cold air for you, aren't we? Yikes! You're going to be difficult to get with our current temperature. You're going to be very difficult to get. But let's go and see what a a seed of mutation might do, because I think it gives you a sideways mutation, more or less. So let's just jump down there and see what we can do. Hello, 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 hello. I hope you're enjoying a super cool climate. Right, what I want here is... Mutation, yes. Womp. I have no idea what you're gonna become, but I hope it's awesome. Also, let's make sure I don't accidentally use that. It, it doesn't look... It doesn't look like it worked. Doesn't look like you could evolve into anything in those conditions. Ah, poop. Oh well. It was worth, worth, uh, not evolve. Mutate. Oh, wait, no. There we go. Let's go down and have a look. Eoraptor is, their population is exploding right now, which is great. Okay, yeah. We're really starting to fill out our tree at this point, which I'm very happy with. There we go. Oh, I think you were the one that I, I didn't have before. And a strap is that migrates to shallow waters in search of prey. It sucks in Cyclomedusa through its jawless mouth. Very well. Level up. Oh, fantastic. We're up to 2,200 um, energy now. Or HP. I don't like thinking of it as HP because when I run out, I expect to die. Uh, right, okay. So many seeds of mutation. So many. Uh, what else we got over here? Womp. Come on. Over here. Oh, we're starting to see uh, trees filling out over here. I think we need to pass an awful lot of time waiting to see what happens right now. Because we've got a lot of different sorts of uh, environments, but... Yeah, we, we need... Well, maybe a bit of vegetation around here. Maybe we need to shape the land a little bit more. Get some vegetation. But I like having the desert, though. 
The desert is super cool. I don't want to have any any um, water around here because it's going to get rid of my desert. And it seems that it, it is kind of... I don't know. I couldn't call it a ring shadow. But it's interesting where that desert has propped up. It's very interesting. It's on the opposite side of a mountain to an awful lot of moisture. Which is kind of how a rain shadow works, only it involves rain and we're not having rain. Hmm. Something for us to consider, perhaps. Ophiroid has shown up. Let's go and check you out then, shall we? Also, let me whoosh down all the way. Oh, you're in the deep water then. Ooh, hello. We're about in the deep water. Oh, no, actually, you might be much closer to the, sh the shallows. There you are. You're selfish. You look like you might be. Yeah, we've got a starfish. Fantastic. A star-shaped uh, echinoderm. Uh, echinoderm. That dwells in shallow seas among Colunia. A carnivorous creature. It mainly subsists on Dinorthis. Very well. Uh, you've got one star um, rarity. So not really that rare, but, you know, it's nice to be filling out the tree at the very least. Paramus or Triton? Let's go and have a look at you. You were just born. Happy birthday. What are you, though? I like the name. The name is full of promise. I am very hopeful about this name. Zoom in a little bit so we can have a, be a better view. Where are you? You're around here somewhere. Not you. Got some lovely music going. Hmm. I don't see where you are, and yet you're meant to be here somewhere. There you go! You were hiding! You were camouflaged! Well played, little lizard! The spot-tailed warty newt is adapted for increased temperatures. It appears as Eoraptor began to increase in numbers. Fantastic! I like you! You look really cool. Especially the way you kind of like turn from side to side. Oh, short little dumpy legs. I like you. I hope you thrive in this environment. Long may you live here. Our populations are actually getting really, really nice. E-Raptor population is going through the roof. But I think we need to focus a little bit more. I mean, this episode has been really nice for just um, sculpting. But... What were you? Ooh. Higher temperatures? No, actually colder temperatures. Much colder temperatures. Hmm. May need to struggle around with you. But... Right. We want one of these. Temperature 39 to 49. Uh, moisture, 10 to 64. Dinosaurs that became larger and faster. Well, we've got massive populations of everything. Oh, no. What we likely need is a massive population of you. This is almost certainly what you're going to be eating, unless you're eating something like these. Oh, I want this. Look at the way it just kind of... Oh, I imagine you live in, in rivers. I want that. I really do. Um, Eoraptor that lives in hot to dry regions. We need height, land, 41 to 51, 10 to 64. Hmm. Pterodon propagated. So how do we get that? A reptile that evolved wings and powered flight. It appears as Eoraptor was propagating the land. It moves on the shore, where it feeds on fish. So we're going to need a, a slightly colder temperature. Um, lots of, of moisture. Uh, well, we're just going to have to keep trying, I guess. We're already a million, 1.2 million years into this. A mm, little bit worried. Little tiny bit concerned. I will confess. You know what? Perhaps that, uh, this little desert here that we've got, I need to get rid of. So, let's try and get rid of you, shall we? With big old rain cloud. Womp. Because this would be the sort of shore area where I would imagine seeing those creatures. Um, temperature is in the sort of right range. I think we need to drop the temperature just a tad, though. I feel that that may be holding us back. So, uh, more terraforming for me.
Okay, I'm fairly happy with the uh, little bit of sculpting we've done here. But I feel that we're going to need a little bit more greenery around here. So what I'm thinking is we're probably going to have a waterfall somewhere around this kind of area. We'll just sink this down a little bit just to give me the sort of imp uh, impression that the uh, river is turning there. And in fact, we'll drop a couple of little markers there where I want to have the waterfalls. And we'll only go down by one layer, but then we'll have a nice big old lake out there just to help out with some water. But we're going to want another little waterfall over here. And I think that'll probably be where we're looking to wrap up this episode, honestly. It's been a bit of a long one for me. About two hours worth of recording time. Ah, uh, terraforming. I love you, but sometimes you do take a lot of time. Alright, uh, let's get a little bit of a river around here, I think. And let's go and find you. Pop. There we go. Now then, what we want to do is just have this river just well, fill out this little spot there, I think. And then uh, run down in this direction, maybe. Let's zoom in a little bit more. In fact, we'll uh, have a little bit more of uh, the river right there. Ah, that's quite nice, actually. Uh, let's have a little place in here for it to exist. There we go. Happy little river running down, creating happy little waterfalls as well. Perfect. And we'll have it just sit in there in that little, that little uh, nook right there. In fact, we'll enlarge it just slightly, just so that this uh, river feels like it actually has a place to call its own. There we go. There we are. Uh, as for you, though, I'm thinking we're going to have this one expand a little bit, actually. Uh, yeah, let's expand our brush slightly. And then, sure, something like this, running all the way up there. Uh, we'll drop these around here. Should be fine. I'm actually going to raise this one to create less of a waterfall right at that point. Uh, I might expand this one out a little bit. There we go. And then this can just pop into, a, again, a little tiny pool just around here. This is where a lot of our freshwater creatures are going to exist. We won't really have... Uh, much of an ocean. The ocean is on the far side. Eventually, I would like to actually, as I mentioned earlier, have a bit of an island theme. So around the perimeter of this place is going to be um, ocean. But for now, the ocean exists far over there. So we've got a little little uh, river, a couple of lovely little waterfalls to help the vegetation grow on this side and hopefully bring us a couple of new species as well or old species that may have just gone extinct because we changed the habitat a little bit too much but I think that's a good place to wrap this one up so you know what, we're just going to jump out we're going to expand time a little bit until something new is born and then we'll wrap it up with a birthday I think we can't, can't hope for a better ending to the episode than that and we got Kind of a mixed bag, really. Um, Teridium has perished. Uh, a, a type of flora has, uh, has, is no longer among us. But we've got two new creatures. One of them is a dinosaur. I am super happy with that. So let's go and say hello to our two new arrivals. Let's have a quick glance up here. Hello. Oh, fantastic. We've got a flyer. Are you a Petri-style flyer, or are you uh, going to grab the, the little long, long necks and three horns flyers? Hmm, not sure yet, but let's have a look. I like your colouring, though. I must say, I approve of, of, your, of your chosen colour. That's actually a, a five-star, nice. A reptile that evolved wings and powered flight. It appears as Eoraptor was propagating the land. Fantastic. And, and not only that, we've got another one. Let's go and say hello. Hello, where are you? Hello, little one. In fact, let's go all the way in and have a look at you properly. Oh, fantastic. I like you. You look super cute. A small lizard that scurries through hot grasslands. It appears after the propagation of Paramisotriton and Demet uh, Demetrodon. Oh, tripped over that one. But there we go. We've added a couple of new life forms to the library. Fantastic. And let's actually have a quick shot of the library as it is. Oh, I noticed a raptor over there. Uh, let's go and have a quick look. So, what is it looking like right now? We're starting. We've got a, a new dinosaur, which is brilliant. Because I'm fairly certain that means 
We might be looking at you very soon. Okay, so we need to encourage these ones to propagate. And finally, the long necks. I really hope that you decide to live in, uh, in the little valley I made for you. But there we are. Oh, so cute. Now, you may be a food source for some of the other ones. Uh, I mean, look. At least you have a purpose. And at least you know what your purpose is. There are some creatures that go their whole lives without ne ever understanding why they were put here. If you were put here to be food, then take, take pleasure in the knowledge that your predator species will, will grow, grow strong and possibly not go extinct because I suddenly changed the climate. Maybe. Possibly. But there we go. We've actually filled out a lot. I know it doesn't look like that much right now, but we've actually got a lot of new species in the library in this episode. So I'm actually pretty happy with the progress we've made. Although our overall goal still a little ways away from us but we are making steps towards it so with that i hope you've all enjoyed and will be joining me in the very near future but uh, that is it for me for this episode so as ever remember to leave a like if you liked sub if you haven't and i'll see you next time take care everyone